everyone I wanted to come back today and just go through this journal with you uh, this is for sale on my Etsy shop and um, I wanted to do a little bit of a, a more detailed flip through I think it might have gotten a little bit um, lost uh, in the other uh, flip through I did so um, this is uh, uh, four and three quarters by seven and a half inch um, in size. The spine is, I think it's uh, one and three quarters. Let me just see. Yeah, spine is one and three quarters. I've got this really pretty vintage uh, image on the front and a little bit of cheesecloth and some seam binding and lace and doilies here. And the uh, base paper that I've used is from the Tim Holtz memoranda paper. Uh, seam bind enclosure and that's just coffee dyed. And I've used throughout this uh, just coffee dyed plain paper, some uh, printed paper and some craft paper and then just a, a few touches of uh, pattern paper. Uh, so in here, I've just got a little tag, lots of tabs, of course, and laces on the side, as I typically do with these. Um, stamping in the corner, and that's a Tim Holtz stamp. Uh, this uh, doily, uh, real doily. And then I've used a lot of the uh, Tim Holtz ephemera from his newest ephemera pack. A couple pieces there. And then in this tag, I've printed on vellum and then just sewn it to coffee dyed cardstock, and that is a tsunami rose um, image, and lots of trims that I've added. And throughout, you'll see that I haven't added anything to the holes in this craft paper, um, and I thought that that was something that you could do um, yourself, add different threads or charms and that kind of thing. Uh, one of Denise's uh, uh, Denise's stores, a tattered dream on on Etsy, and one of her uh, inventory tags there. Music paper. I've left this open for lots of journaling space. More stamping. This is a Cavallini uh, tag uh, for a, a tuck spot there. Sorry, I'm just trying to find a tag here. I should have been prepared. Um, a couple of tags here. And again, this is um, a printable from Tsunami Rose. I printed it on vellum and just attached it to some cardstock, uh, sewed it onto some cardstock. This is one of the paper bag, or rather, one of the em long envelopes that I've been using. I've just adhered this pretty lace to it added a tag and then it's just clipped on with a paper clip that has a little uh, bell on it, jingle bell. And that's a recipe card. And that's that printable paper that I've been using. Uh, that's a top tuck spot. Again, that's more ephemera from the Tim Holtz uh, ephemera pack from this year. Tag here and this is a tuck spot. And this music paper I've just left blank. Uh, I thought it was a great spot. You could add your own pockets to it. You could add some lace. You could just add your Christmas photos. And a couple of printables in that lace pocket. And this is from Nectar's Creations really pretty. And that belly band and I've just done some stamping in the corners and added a little bit of sheer fabric for the topper. So there's four signatures. This is uh, in between the signatures I've got this folder uh, and I've got that really pretty postcard and this is from Nectar's Creations and then I've just um, stamped a tag um, with an all-over Merry Christmas pattern and added a bit of lace for the tag topper. This is an envelope that I've used as a pocket here 
and I've got that vintage Santa tag, more ephemera from the Tim Holtz pack, and then that really pretty uh, picture of that, Christmas picture of that girl. And this is an envelope that I got it a bit of trim to, and that's from Tsunami Road, uh, rather, no, that's from Nectar's, Cre Nectar's Creations. And just a plain tag with a bit of trim and another vintage image. <coughs> Excuse me. And just a couple of vintage tags. I've got a bit of lace and a little bit of ribbon trim there. And this is another envelope, one of the long envelopes that uh, Denise carries these in her store now. I love these envelopes. Again, I've got it clipped on with a paper clip with a bell on it. Um, and a couple of really pretty tags from Nectar's Creations and just some lace for that pocket. And I've really um, tried to make this very vintage. I, I've used some of my very favorite uh, trims and um, printable papers and so on. Um, throughout this book and I really love the way it's turned out and this is an envelope uh, and in the envelope I have a little recipe card there on the other side uh, that's printable printable again on uh, vellum and sewn on to some cardstock a little bit of trim here and another vintage Christmas image and I have clipped on this uh, photo overlay here and that's the other side of that envelope and it's open at the side it's really pretty um, I guess that's mistletoe holly that's holly in that um, pocket in this paper bag I've, or glassine bag I've got that that image and a tag that I've made and lots of trims. I've added some extra journaling space here. And in the doily pocket, I've added some tags here that I've made and then another couple of vintage images. And a great Santa image. Love that postcard. And here I've just got a really simple tag from um, Tim Holtz paper line. And here I've used, um, this is a long pocket and this was the piece of a dresser scarf. Uh, and then I've just added over top of that a little bit of lace at the top and more lace here uh, as a pocket. And I've got that long tag and then I've got um, one of those Christmas postcards and that's um, a price tag from Denise's store and I've just stamped that note stamp on the back and on this side this is an envelope from Nectar's Creations and inside a double-sided journaling card another tab there and a pretty tag there and another one there and this um, envelope on this side this is the last of some really pretty lace that I got from Angie uh, last year uh, and I thought it went so well with this book and then that's a Nectar's Creations printable and just a simple tag here Another Nectar's Creations printable there. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and that's the book. So, um, it's actually a little bit surprising to me that this book is still in my Etsy shop. Um, but uh, I, uh, I did want to uh, go through it in a little bit more detail than I did the first time around. Uh, just because uh, I thought maybe uh, I didn't spend enough time on it. So, uh, I can see the lighting here is not great. Uh, we've got a kind of a gray day, so I do have a light on. Um, these colors are really very muted um, and just very pretty. So 
Anyway, there we go. That book is in my Etsy shop right now. I'm going to link my Etsy shop below. And I do have um, this, uh, I've um, no code necessary. I've, I've already reduced this um, for a little bit of a Black Friday sale. So um, I hope you liked it. And if you have any questions about this particular journal, uh, please feel free to message me either here uh, on my YouTube channel or through my Etsy shop. Thanks.